himself, Johnny Cash, top song. Um, this one is, oh, the chord's pretty easy, there's only like four chords in it. B, E7, A, and B7. Okay, that's all you need for this song. Uh, let me quickly give you the strum first. Um, you're basically going to hit the bass note, and then down, down, up, down, up. Okay, bass, down. So with an E, the bass note is your 6th string. And on your A, the bass note is your 5th string. On your B7, the same, 5th string. Right, so that's the strum. Okay, now the intro starts on B7. Well, in fact, B11, really. You're not really going to worry too much about the top strings here because you're going to hit the fifth string three times, and then the fourth string once. Do a little bit of your down, up, down, up on your middle strings. Hit the fifth string again, and you're going to bring your pinky up onto the uh, sixth string to hit the G note before coming back to your E. So you get this. once for you slowly. I hear the train a coming, it's rolling round the bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps a rolling. verses in this song and they all use that same progression. So let's just go through the chords. It starts on E. I hear the train a coming. Stay on E. It's rolling around the bend. Stay on E. And I have seen the sunshine since. Now you want an E7 here. Now the E7's in this song I think. It's this one where you put your, just your pinky comes up onto the uh, second string on the third fret. Okay. If you want to play your more traditional E7, that one, that's by releasing the fourth string, go right ahead. It sounds fine. But um, I like this one here. But I'm stuck in awesome prisons. It comes your A, and time keeps dragging on. Back to your E. Next chord will be a, set, be a B7. But that train keeps a rolling. Same run there from the intro. Whether you use your pinky or just want to hit the notes, whatever finger you find easy. I tend to use whatever finger hits there first, I don't have a preference. But that's optional, you don't have to do that. You can just go straight from the B7 to the E if you prefer. Okay, so that's 90% of the song. Um, now you just need the little solo part. The part that goes like this. Okay. So, for that, it's the same chords, uh, the solo, as it is for the verses. It's the same repetitive chords over and over. But just to get that little um, lead bit in there. Basically all you're doing is just releasing the E to the E minor briefly. Strum the E minor and then hammer back on for your E. Then make sure you hit the open second string. And then your pinky is going to come on for that E7. Alright, this is why I was playing that E7 before, because in the solo you do need that E7 if you want to um, play this lead part. So your pinky's just going to come on and off that second string, third fret. You kind of have to modify your strum a little bit if you want to strum and play that solo. Um, not quite sure exactly what to strum, but you just have to sort of figure that out for yourself, I think.
only thing I can suggest um, is when you're on that E in the solo, you can do this little. If you like. It's not in um, Johnny Cash's version, I just like to throw that in just to jazz it up a little bit. It's basically just releasing the fifth string and hammering back on, and releasing the fourth string and hammering back on. The, the outro, same as the intro. So, um, yeah, not much to that song, but um, what a great song it is, isn't it? Um, awesome Prison Blues. That'll do for that one. See ya.